Hi, <laughs> my name is Kyle McPherson. I'm from Canton, Illinois, and I've been seeing on YouTube and on TV these It Gets Better videos, and I find them very inspirational. I'm very proud of the people who have put themselves out there to make videos like that and to start this kind of movement because it does get better you're n not alone out there sorry <laughs> I'm on my rooftop which is my favorite place to hang out but summertime there's lots of bugs you know I have bug spray on they're still touching me which eeks me out a little bit but anywho back to the story my coming out story, I went all throughout high school, no one, people had suspected, they had asked me and I'd deny it, deny it, deny it, and they'd believe me because I was friends with all the jocks, like my three best friends in high school were the three captains of the wrestling team. So, no one would ever really mess with me. I never got bullied. I never got picked on. And then, I went away to school. I moved away from Canton, where I live now in Illinois, to Macomb, to Western Illinois University. And I noticed there's a lot of wide variety of people down there. A lot different. A lot more open. A lot more... You know, they were themselves and they didn't care what people thought about them. They had a bigger area, they had a bigger aura of confidence around them. And I found that very impressive. Like, I really liked that. And so. I went down there for a year. I moved back to Canton when I was 19, still in the closet, still a virgin, but that's not even the big deal at all. And then I turned 21, and that's when I started hanging out with two of my bestest friends. They're both named Michael. We call one Michael, one Mikey, so we don't get them confused. And one day, I had just had me and Michael were walking back to my grandparent. I was living with my grandma. We we're walking back to my grandma's house. Uh, we've been drinking a little bit, not enough, not like we were wasted or anything. And we we're sitting on the porch just shooting the shit. And I just said, Hey, I have something to tell you. And he's, I um, just said, I'm gay, and, he's, and his reaction was, yeah, I know, me and your sister were having bets <laughs> when you would come out, and as relieved as I was, I was still, like, a little hurt, because that was, like, my big moment. I, I wanted a little bit of surprise, you know, with the being accepted part. But it all turned out very well, and I told my mother next, and she, she said the same thing. I've known you were gay since you were four years old, and you used to wear my red shoes around the house, saying they're your ruby red slippers. And you'd click your heels three times when you go home, because your favorite movie was Wizard of Oz. And even though I don't believe... You can tell at that age, the age of four, that anybody, any sexual orientation, but you, being different, you do face a lot of hatred. You get a lot of mean things yelled at you. Like when you go to a club or a a bar or any place, a movie theater, 
with your boyfriend and you're holding hands and you give him a kiss you hear people yell fags blah, this and that homos disgusting what you just need to ignore them they are just they have no self-confidence in themselves so they feel that they need to make fun of others they have low self-esteem so if they pick on someone else it makes them feel better but it doesn't just always keep your head high because come on you're always going to be better than them and always be true to yourself because it always gets better it truly does any hardship that you're going through it gets better every hardship that I have had any time I thought I was completely lost there was no hope whatsoever like the only way out was killing myself it's I was wrong completely and there's always hope it always does get better just, just gotta believe it and let time do its magic because with time everything does get better everything will change and everything will get better so I hope if anybody ever does watch this that I know I didn't I didn't have it nearly as tough as most guys out there my family completely loved and accepted me they support me in every single way and I couldn't ask for anything better in my situation right now but I've seen others not get treated the same way as me and it breaks my heart to see it and I know if they just I know they're so tough on the inside they push through they persevere and it does get better for them I've seen it so <laughs> don't give up it does get better trust me